Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day and welcome to Smart and Easy English. Today we're going to talk about phrasal verbs. So, what is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is the combination of a verb and a preposition. For example, turn up, pick up, let's say turn off, calm down, catch up. And it goes like this. However, phrasal verbs are informal and we use them in daily conversations. So, let's take a look at the examples. Let's start with turn up. So, if I say, could you please turn up the TV? It means... Could you please increase the volume? Yes. When you say turn up, that exactly means increase the volume of the TV or of any device. So let's continue with turn on. So if I say, could you please turn on your smartphone? Well, it means open, start, or initiate your device. Let's say to activate your device means turn on. In fact, turn up and turn on might be confusing. So this is why you might want to remember from the preposition up, like volume increase the volume it's just up and on is like activating something so let's move on to the next one give up so if i say i gave up smoking years ago and i'm feeling so energetic these days and that's a real example for me and i'm really feeling energetic these days because i gave up smoking and i strongly suggest you to Quit smoking. Yes, exactly. Give up means to quit. Okay, the next one. Pick up. All right, if I say I'll pick up chicken, carrots, and orange juice from the grocery store in the evening, that means you're going to yeah, buy something to your house. Maybe you don't have anything in your fridge and you go get some stuff. We call it, I'll pick up some stuff and I'll come back. You might want to give an example like that as well. So, pick up, it means to buy something. Let's continue with the next one. Stay up. So, what if I say... I stayed up all night yesterday and prepared this video. And that's the that's a true story, by the way. I really stay up all night yesterday and prepared this video. Yeah. So it means I didn't go to bed yesterday. Yeah. So stay up means not go to bed. Yeah. So another great phrasal verb is catch up. So imagine you're running with your friend and your friend got tired and he was behind you. So what we're going to do is that we should stop and wait for our friend to catch up. So if you say, I stopped and waited for my friend to catch up. Then, your friend will reach you. Yes, exactly. Catch up means to reach someone or something. So, the next one is turn down. Okay, so what we have here is that turn up, we discussed. Turn on, we also discussed. And now, it is time to talk about turn down. Okay, 
if I say, please turn down the TV, I'm trying to study here, and I have an exam tomorrow. So, if somebody says like this, will you push the button and close the TV, or will you reduce the volume? Exactly. You're supposed to reduce the volume. Okay, so turn down means reduce the volume. And as you remember, yeah, turn up is like increase the volume. And turn down, now it's reduce the volume. Okay, so what we discussed is that turn up, turn on, and turn down. And what about turn off? What if I say, can you please turn off the lights? I can't sleep like this. So this means you should close or deactivate something. Like to stop the operation of something by means of a tap, switch, or button. You can also say, could you, could you turn off your phones? Okay, for example, when my students are playing with their phones in the classroom when there's a lesson, I'm always saying, could you please turn off your phones? And when the break time comes, you will turn on. Okay, so what we discussed is that we, have, we need a verb and we need a preposition in order to make a phrasal verb. Now let's talk about how to use a phrasal verb using a pronoun. Okay, what we need is that we need again a verb and this time we need a pronoun and then finally we need a preposition. Yeah, like verb plus pronoun plus a preposition. So pronoun should be located in between the verb and the preposition. Well, let's take a look at the example. Okay, calm down. All right. So, what if I say, I usually take three deep breaths to calm myself down. Yeah. Because I need to calm myself down when I feel nervous. Okay? If you want, you can calm yourself down. So this means to relax. We can also use this phrasal verb without the pronoun as well. Calm down. Everything's going to be all right. Okay? Because calming ourselves down is one of the most important thing when we feel nervous. So you can make more examples like this, okay? All right, so let's continue with the final phrasal verb. Okay, so it's called let down. So what if I say, you need to take this delivery to this address, I trust you and don't let me down. It's like, don't let me down. Exactly. Means to fail to support someone. So don't disappoint me means don't let me down. Okay, everyone. So that's the end of the video. We talked about 10 phrasal verbs, 10 common phrasal verbs. Please keep practicing because you know what they say, practice makes perfect. And I'll see you in the next video.